Hello, uh, this video will demonstrate the functionality of my QR controlled light switch for NME 489Y uh, remote sensing. So let's take a look at the code. Uh, first, we set up pin GPIO pin 17 as an output pin so that it can receive a pulse width modulated signal um, to control the servo motor. We start that at 7.5% duty cycle and then change it immediately to 3. Next, we start a video capture, and we set up a detector for that uh, to detect the QRs. Next, we come down here and we receive the data, and we receive the bounding box for what the detector is able to find from each respective image. If we find the bounding box, then we plot it on the image around the QR code, and if the data happens to say lights off, then we'll go into this a statement here. We'll first print the data to the console, and then we'll change the duty cycle of the servo to be 7.5%. Then we'll wait for a little bit, break out of that, and then eventually if the user wants to break out of the whole thing, they can hit the Q button. And then at the end, it's just some minor maintenance things, release the capture, and uh, clean up the GPIO pins. Once the code starts running, you can see that it generates a live stream of what the camera is able to capture. The system is set up over here. The camera is attached to a structurally sound Cheez-Its box where the um, Raspberry Pi sits on top. Connected to the breadboard is the servo motor, which is in turn connected to the light switch um, that will turn the light off once the command is given. To identify the command, we'll be using this QR code which is encoded with the data that says lights off. When the QR code is moved close enough to the device, you'll notice that the light switch gets turned off and the room becomes dark. And you'll notice that displayed on the console and in the picture were the contents of the QR code, which were lights off.